for myself. Meaning one kick-ass government assassin by the name of Al Simmons is dead. In a nutshell, he was a good government assassin. So he's not a good guy. He's not Clark Kent by any stretch. And, uh, you know, he died. And But the one element that he had in him that I think that each one of us has is that he had a, you know, he had somebody that he dearly loved. And so he made a deal, you know, in a, in a heartbeat. You made a deal, you stupid son of a bitch. You made a deal with Malbolgia. You cut a deal for your soul. He sells his soul to the devil in order to come back and be with his wife and see her again. But the devil plays a trick on him and he comes back five years later to discover that she has married his best friend. So he's not back for revenge and he's gonna kill somebody. He's just trying to basically get some semblance of normality back. <laughs> the beauty of animation is that we can go ahead and you're not just playing off of, you know, the visual of Spawn. You're getting inside of his head, you're getting inside of his flashbacks Wait, this and this how he's reacting to I these situations. Either. So animation allows us to go ahead and explore um, the confusion and yet understand the story. As he stands, the superhero always has a bit of, a, of an arched back and he has the big regal look, we're trying to make him the king here. So he has a stance here, and when you stand, you don't stand relaxed, you have a sense of power and a sense of urgency. Why is it that people with authority abuse their power? Now he's covered with the costume. The costume comes from hell, so the energy is within him, but the costume is there, has a protective layer. He can be standing there doing nothing, but you can get a sense of rage about what's happening as you've got the chain just snapping and the cape snapping and, and somebody comes close to him and the cape will go and grab the guy and pull him back. The eyes are green because again they're all made out of what we call necroplasm. Then I see it more of like if you carve a pumpkin and you put the candle on there and there's a light shining from it and it just makes a cool visual when you stand in the shadows you don't see anything but a couple of glowing eyes that look like they're on fire. What do you think, Spawn? Spawn? <laughs> yeah, as in hell, Spawn. The clown <laughs> is really a, a, you know, a, a true denizen of hell. And, and on some levels, it's kind of like the watchdog to make sure that the spawns, when they're put on the clown is, uh, you know, he has nothing to lose. You came back for her, Spawn. You came back for Wanda. Wanda is a lawyer. She is a very intelligent uh, professional who is the bright shining light in the series. Wanda is just the whole reason why he exists. And, and if he can't get to her and he's got this existence, then what's the reason of going on? And that's really, again, part of his dilemma is, is if I can't have Wanda, that's the only reason I'm back. Well, what, well why am I here? Then? Oh, God! The best opportunity we have for, for a lighter side to it is probably Burke and Twitch, the two detectives that happen to have this end of New York City to cover. Mason, you mafia dirtbag piece of shit. You never look better. One's a little bit more reserved and one's a little bit more bombastic. Sir, I don't think the CSU is going to appreciate you sprinkling donut crumbs onto the deceased. Did I do this? Instinct, sweetheart. You're a killer. <laughs> Born and bred. You see violence, you act. It's a gift. That's why he picked you. Going to animation, actually, the, the story's going to get even harder and more edgier. I, I would say that my comic book is like a PG-13 if you want to give it a rating and, and, and the uh, animation is probably closer to an R rating just because again, you know, we're gonna, there's going to be violence and nudity and cussing and stuff like that. So instead of trying to do that, we've, for all intents and purposes, written a drama, a half hour drama, and, and we put the animation on top of it. I just want to go home. No move or be moved. Listen. 
We all want to go home, my friend. But it's war getting there. Thank <laughs> you.